Oh boy, so yesterday's announcement of Rust was massive. We knew it was coming, I've been telling you guys it's coming to console, but a full proper reveal and a release window or release year is big news. The confirmation that it's also going to be on Xbox and PlayStation is big news. So I'm going to go through the Rust facts that we know so far, facts and fiction. What don't we know and what can we expect? There was a small interview given on the PlayStation blog site with Gary Newman, one of the co-creators of Rust. So I'm going to go through that and we'll go through some other bits and bobs I've found out, giving you as much info as we can about Rust on Xbox One and PS4 in 2020. 20. My name is Jade. Make sure you are subscribed. You've got the notification bell turned on. Go and give me a follow on Mixer if you want to see me playing Rust a lot more up until console release. So I'm basically going to break down this interview. We'll probably read most of it out. And then I'm going to go through the points it raises and give you some more facts and fiction about what's happening. Rust is huge on PC. Why do you think players have connected to the game so much? Gary says it's a hard survival game, a dumb move and you can lose hours, days, weeks of progress, a smart move and you can advance your position on the island by weeks, it's a game of huge risk and huge rewards. When you start going out you're going to be an underdog, you have a rock and everyone else seemingly has an AK, you need to work your way up, this isn't a linear path, you could find a fully loaded corpse and spring ball from there, you could find a quiet part of the island to create a base and build up to that, you could get some friends and work together to rule the whole island. I think this is why it's popular, every time you die and want revenge you want to try a different strategy. What were the main inspirations behind it? I'll paraphrase this, Stalker, they really like the real living world, things that happen, creatures making noises nearby doing their business, noises and skirmishes happening miles away, radioactive areas of interest, that world was a huge interest to us from Stalker. They're also huge FPS players, they love games like Call of Duty, Counter-Strike and Battlefield. Console players have been asking for a release a while now, why did you make the decision to release Rust in 2020? We've been working on Rust on PC since 2013 in Early Access. While it was in Early Access, we felt we had a promise to fulfill for everyone that supported us, so PC was our main priority. We came out of Early Access in 2018, so at that point we felt we could start looking at the console version, but at the same time it isn't something we wanted to rush out. What are the key things you want to focus on when releasing a game like Rust on console? Rust is the best survival game on PC. That's not marketing speak, it's a scientifically provable fact. So our priority is making Rust the best survival game on console too. We've already got the main ingredients for that, the game itself, so the only thing we have to do is make Rust the best console survival game, is avoid tripping over ourselves in terms of control and performance. It's particularly important to get those things perfect in a PvP game like Rust. Rust has got loads of influence from American and Russian imagery and references, is their hidden story. Yeah, we have a story, everywhere in the world has a reason and meaning, we don't share any of that directly because we want to avoid the Star Wars situation where we can't do something without contradicting five story things. We found this works well for our community, it's also to see them explore and piece things together based on what they find. Now here's the big news guys, part of the joy of Rust is finding a host and a regular map to play on. Will PlayStation players be able to rent their own servers? Definitely, it's important for us to allow players to take ownership and configure their server to their own preferences. What are you most looking forward to when Rust releases next year? Rust spawns a lot of stories, in other games you might be in a situation, a horse kicking an NPC in the face or something, but you know that everyone else has had that situation. Every Rust player I've ever spoken to in real life has these stories. And that's pretty much it, it's small but it does give us some crucial information. So we know it's not going to be an early access game, it's coming to Xbox and Playstation at the same time. We know it's going to have dedicated servers. Digging around, I found the actual press release from Double Eleven. They are the guys that are in charge of the port for it. They've ported a bunch of games over to consoles and Nintendo Switch, so they've got a long history of doing this. You're going to be able to play on servers with up to 100 players. They are not limiting it or downsizing it. It's going to be 100 players. Rust has sold 8 million copies on PC. It does indeed make it one of the most popular survival games, and no, Minecraft doesn't count. We're talking about player versus player, PvP, proper survival. You could argue that Ark has maybe sold nearly just as many, maybe more. But for sure, when Rust hits Xbox and PlayStation, it is going to take over as the number one survival game on console. Why am I so sure of that? It's just in the nature. YouTube is awash still with Rust. I've seen the demand for these games come and go with Ark, Conan, DayZ. And it's absolutely huge on the PlayStation especially and Xbox. There's lots of articles talking about it and some of them raise some good points. 
what's happening with cross-platform play. That is where the fiction part kicks in. We don't know currently if it's going to be cross-platform. We don't know if it's going to be keyboard and mouse. Although it's safe to say if you actually keep up with gaming news, you can use your keyboard and mouse on a wide variety of Xbox titles. And even though it's not officially supported, lots of games on PlayStation support keyboard and mouse. It's really interesting seeing how some of these more mainstream media outlets cover the news. With lots of them not really knowing whether or not it's going to go down well on console. Of course it will. Yes, there's probably going to be some performance issues. Right now, there is a proportion of players on PC that are unhappy with some performance. But absolutely, there's no denying it's got a very positive review score and 93% of the players in the last 30 days have said it's a great game. Take a look at the four biggest survival games right now on PC. And I'd argue they're probably three of these are the biggest on Xbox and PlayStation. Undoubtedly, Ark is definitely the biggest on console. And I'm talking strictly big multiplayer. And just look how different everything is. By far, Ark and Rust lead the way with the top of players. But Rust consistently over the last year has beaten Ark, with only maybe once out of this period, Ark actually having more players playing on its peak on a daily basis. Now that's not to say Ark has never beaten Rust. You will actually see that Ark has had many, many more players over its lifetime consistently for three years doing more players than Rust. But ever since Rust came out of its early access period, it's had a much better run and it's been more consistent and beating Ark Survival Evolved. These things don't really matter, but some people do love to comment and say that this isn't going to be a big game or that Rust isn't the biggest game going. Well, for the last year, in fact, it is. Hence why Gary was pretty confident in stating that Rust is the biggest survival game on PC. So no news on an actual full release date and we've got no news on the price point just yet. Rust has always been pretty fairly priced, £27.79. That's a hell of a lot cheaper than Ark Survival Evolved and even Conan Exiles. Even DayZ is more expensive than Rust. I really can't see them charge you more than £29.99 for this game on console. And that's the simple fact of it, they haven't needed the money. Unlike DayZ, where literally they have scrimped and made sure that console got the shittiest version going of a game just so they could make some more money, Rust is in a better position. It may not be selling hundreds of thousands of units every single month anymore, but it does do things in the right way, only offering small cosmetics for weapons, as its main source of extra income alongside merchandise. Compare that to all three of these games that produce bloated DLCs that sometimes don't really feel value for money, and Rust really is a market leader in not fleecing its player base. Conan Exiles releases DLC pretty much every quarter or so, and they're not exactly that expensive, only around $9.99, but a lot of it is just simply skins or making building pieces look different or giving you armor and weapons that is comparable to other stuff so not to be paid to win. DayZ is about to launch Livonia and they're going to probably charge an arm and a leg for what essentially is a recycled map from one of their other games, Armor Free. And Ark does the big season pass. Every year we get a big DLC. Right now their season pass for Genesis is £34.99. So you get the idea. I'm trying to spell it out. Rust is a good guy here. Yes, the fan base may be a bit more toxic than some people are used to, but the developers themselves have never gone out their way to fleece people. They've had their ups and downs for sure. And when you look at these timelines, you can clearly see when they've had their downs. It was pretty much after launch, realizing that the game they actually based on DayZ themselves needed significant changes, needed a whole engine redesign or rewrite. This is what caused so many people to stop playing the game as much as the hype generated. And there were just a lack of features. But over the years, they've put more and more content into it, getting into a rhythm, releasing updates every single month. If anyone deserves success, it's definitely Face Punch, and I can't wait to see this on Xbox and PlayStation. People talk about the recoil and AKs. Trust me, go and fire a gun on one of these on Xbox and PlayStation and tell me it won't be okay on Rust. They'll have aim assist for console for sure. And performance wise, I really can't see it being that bad. Double fine, the people responsible are pretty experienced in porting games over. Although by far, this is gonna be the biggest undertaking they've ever done. With games like Prison Architects, Goat Simulator being maybe the main ones that people know them for. They've also worked on Harry Potter, Lego series, Limbo, but also Crackdown 3 recently. 
and they are responsible for the ports of Minecraft Dungeons. Rust is a PvP experience. If you're new to Rust, you've never really heard too much about it, please don't expect to be running around in a PvE way. It just simply isn't that type of game, and thank God, this is not Ark Survival Evolved. You're not going to be running around just being friendly. This game is all about that arcadey feel of coming up and rising against other players and trying to be the alpha on a server. This is why it's going to work so well on console. I'm predicting fiction that it will come out at summertime. I see that as the perfect release window for this. Any later than that and it will start conflicting with the releases of the Xbox X or whatever else it's going to be called and of course the PlayStation 5. The summertime release with loads of people off college and uni and school I think it's going to be an amazing time if this does release by then. The fact they've not put a single release date or even some sort of window does suggest to me it's definitely going to be the later time, later part of the year. And they're still working on lots of content coming into the game, including the modular cars, modular weapons, and so much more like horse armor. I'm going to be doing a special Rust series. We're going to be calling it the Scrub Lord Race to Rust. I really haven't played much Rust on PC because time-wise and not really feeling great with keyboard, it's put me off a bit in the past. But I'm going to do my best guys, I want to learn the game with you, but I also want to make sure I've got lots of information to fall back on so that you're ready when it hits Xbox and Playstation. So I'm going to learn the game on PC, that as soon as it hits console I'm ready, good to go, and I can be alpha of a server. If you've got any questions about Rust, please pop them in the box down below and I'll try and answer them for the next video. Expect weekly videos talking about Rust from now on and of course any big news I will do a video straight away. For everything to do with Rust on console, make sure you've got notifications ticked on and for general Rust updates including all the new content that's been added, go and give Shadowfrax a follow. He is the ultimate legend in terms of Rust news. But boy, I'm coming for you. Until next time, Ratbags, laters.